We gotta move these refrigerators. Gotta move these color TV. Something like that. How did that happen? <laughs> That's pretty good. I think I see some aluminum. Yep, I think it is. Let's check it out. Good morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. I got my blinkers on, people. Don't get all offended. I know you're on your way to work. Metal, that's for sure. I think that's metal, yeah. These are all um, contractor bags, these trash bags. So I'm curious. It had a torrential downpour last night. I mean, it rained a lot. Uh, all this extra stuff. I don't want that. Is this aluminum as well? It might be of the drumsticks. Oh. Hey, more drumsticks. Dude, this thing's solid. What's up with that? I think these are aluminum. Yep, that thing's not. That thing's beefy. That's like two pounds of steel right there. Huh. Hmm. I'm wondering. <laughs> Do you think the yard guy, the yard garbage man, is going to take all this? One thing I do know is that there's peace and hope. Whew. I like that. I've seen better days, that's for sure. Wait a minute. This whole thing's plastic. Huh. All right, I'm just gonna grab the cord real quick. Excellent. That's the way. <laughs> I 
I was watching Mr. Scrappity this morning. <laughs> He's talking about scoops. I know when he to, yeah this one's bent. When he's talking about scoops. He's I believe he's talking about resale items or keepable items or I don't know. But it's contagious. I don't want to say scoop now. <laughs> what is this thing on the curb? It's a big old rust pile. Oh, it's not light. Okay. A lot of water still. I uh, I have several pair of gloves that I'm swapping out because everything's wet. is heavy. Don't want to make a big mess, but Alright. Redoing that one. That was too heavy for me left over this. <laughs> I didn't think it would be. But it is. stuff is a lot thicker because it's cast or something. Alright, time to grab the dry gloves, put the wet gloves, the defrost. Scoop! big old pile of awkward here. There. That's great. Just great. Let's start. Place. So you can roll it around? Yeah. Okay. Roll it around. Cool, man. Yep. But you were done with it, huh? Yeah. She just didn't want it no more. And I'm like, it's been sitting in my garage for four years. <laughs> I'm like, let's just. Uh, I told the garbage guys that I'm going to be pounding them because got a few things we got to get rid of. Yeah, yeah. You can't keep everything forever. You can't. You know, and when, once it sits there that damn long. You want a hand? You want me to help you throw it in there? Well, 
you want it or not? I do. I, I'm going to take it. Okay. Um, but I just got some. Yeah, I got to do a little bit of repacking first. Okay. Hmm. The guy said this thing, this, what's it called? Uh, Pro form works, but it's been out in the rain all night and I <laughs> it rained like crazy. So it's going to the scrapyard. I meant to go through here as well. But just don't want to fall out. Even though I'm only driving 10 miles an hour through the neighborhoods, I don't want it falling out. Yep, that's not going anywhere. Said every guy tying down something. Here. Man, not bad for the first 40 minutes of scrapping. Now, I guess this used to be a yeah, I bet that would work just fine in a snowstorm. I like it. It's seen better days. For sure. Oh, that's not good. That's bad. Is this even an alley? Getting the willies. That's mostly metal. Let's get it. So I want to thank everyone for the birthday wishes yesterday. That was awesome. I posted something on Instagram. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Ooh, I see scrap. What is that thing? It's like a cam. It is a camera. No way. A Bessler? Beesler? Camera? Whoa! What is this thing? Wow. Um, I don't know if I should be destroying it. Stop for this. Man, I got quite a mess going here. So, last couple of days I haven't done any scrapping. And, well, I shouldn't say I haven't done any scrapping. I haven't done any purposeful scrapping. But when I do drive around, like with my kids or whatever, I just pick stuff up. And I got this huge pile of scrap at my house just from like going to the store and back. And uh, yeah, it's like I have a, an entire load just at my house just because I wiggle my way home from the grocery store or whatever. What is this thing? Whoa. I know it's really thrash, whatever it is. Alright, so the scrap yard is actually just right around the corner from here. And they've been open now for 10 minutes. I think I'm just gonna go over there and get rid of the steel. I'm gonna keep that camera thing in the aluminum. Just to have an empty truck. Because I I've only scratched the surface 
20% tops of the garbage day route here. I'm trying to make it to the scrapyard, but scrap keeps calling my name. Probably steel. Could be copper. All right, where are you going? Right here. Scrapyard, other side of that building. <laughs> Morning time at the scrapyard. I don't think they're waiting for the scale. Nope, empty car. Wow, 4,060 pounds, that's heavier than I thought. That's good, we're good. Now last time I was here, a couple days ago, there was some challenges. Well, it looks like they're still there. Okay. With just how close I can get to the scrap pile. appliances right there Ooh. some significant appliances oh. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten if not more wow huh someone's been getting all my scrap that's right <laughs> that's what I get for messing around Taking a day off. How dare I? <laughs> no, it was good. Actually, I took two days off. Taste Thursday, and I didn't do any scrapping Tuesday or Wednesday. Just kind of hanging out, doing my thing. Oh. It's really not much to unload. Backwards is supposed to click. Oh, I think that's what's holding it up. There we go. That little thing right there. Little mechanism. Oh, this is definitely helium steel. Lighter than air. If you let it go, it's like a balloon. <laughs> oh, come back. Now, with all of these aluminum. Yep. This guy, what's up with that? I'm not sure. That guy thinks I'm in the way or something. There's plenty of room for him to drive. Oh, he's unloading different stuff, it looks like. So this is going up front with me. Just in case. Golf clubs, 
from the same guy that had these. That would not have felt good. <laughs> Definitely not. <sighs> Yickville. I see a car wash in my future. We are done here. All right, my friend, he has a YouTube channel uh, here in town. He's also a musician friend of mine um, called Write Film Edit. And I'm gonna send him a picture of this. See if there's any worth to him. Maybe he likes vintage stuff. I don't know. Right, how much do we weigh? I see. Thirty-nine hundred. It's not very much. <laughs> it's maybe like six dollars. But hey, it's an empty truck though. All right, let's go get paid. So. I was there for about six weeks. So I did some scrapping out there, and prices are half out there as they are here. Because it's lots of competition. Well, it's also, um, yeah, definitely competition, but there's no mills and stuff in Las Vegas that have to ship it to California or Arizona. Or they go, they're getting a new one somewhere out there. Are they? I think it's going to be in Arizona. But Arizona yeah. the they're having to ship everything out, so that, that costs the other thing a lot. That happened, yeah, it's, it's... What, what else happened? They, uh, I know the guy, there's a, SA Recycling's out there, big mm -hmm. in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, they're the biggest. I didn't visit them, I only used the um, north side. Yeah, well, I, can't, I can't remember the name of the script I used. Um, but the one that I went to, super squared away, but it's two and a half cents a pound for shred. Yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, I know the guy that runs the, the one out, the SA Recycling one, and he's like, everybody has to send their stuff out. Yeah, the only shredder. Yeah. Hopefully it's not too bright with that sun blasting in. So uh, eighty dollars a net ton. So it's uh, four cents per pound. So because a net ton is two thousand pounds, a gross ton is two thousand two hundred and forty pounds. So because it's a net ton, just take the eighty dollars a net ton. Whatever half of eighty is is forty, and then um, yeah, so it's four cents per pound. Uh, 260 pounds um, at ten dollars and forty cents. So, yeah, I'm looking back, looking forward to hearing back from my uh, friend. See if he wants this vintage camera equipment. Um, where's my line? I'm gonna be losing that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Here, let's take a look at that. So, here's that equipment. Here is that UL uh, nameplate on it. So it's a Model 23C Series 2. I don't know what it, that is. So here's the lens. You can 
see that very well. And then you have the body to it. I don't know what this big motor is in the bottom back of it is. Here's the, the name of it. Yeah. Hopefully I'll hear back from him. Because I'd rather just give it to him than scrap it. I was talking about scrap, just finding it, driving around. Yeah, definitely got to get this cleaned up today. All right, done dropping that camera stuff and the aluminum off at my house. And I'm back hitting the garbage day route. Oh, might this be the garbage Good morning, day? Ralph. Good morning, Sam. I had to hose out the back of my truck. Oh, I got a couple of screws that I don't really want to be hitting the street, that's for sure. What is this? It's all part of the same thing. I guess it is. Nah, got enough metal in there. Oh. Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. still wet and it was raining last night big time is that a heater or something no clue what this thing is yeah it is a heater if it's a heater i'll take it <laughs> cord I get the glass out of there. Huh. Guess I don't need to. Hey, just told me how to do it. So I need to get one of these out. Ah, just slide it. Don't want it. Uh, needs to not. It even hurt us scrappers. Cat is leery of the uh, that dog statue. Uh. <laughs> That's fun stuff. Uh -huh. Do I see a sink? It's a deep sink too. Let's get it. Will the stick or will it fall? Stainless. That's probably not stainless, yeah. Still there. Before I forget, I need to clip that. There is definitely a wire hoard video in the future. Man, I got, I bet I have a truckload of those cords. Excuse me? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, anything metal, I will take it. Thank you, sir. All right. Hi, Rufus. What's that? Pretty low right now, right? They are, yeah, they're, uh, no, 
thank you. Yuck. Yuck fied. <laughs> I keep having to change my gloves because they get wet from the rain last night. Whoa. Oh, wine bottles. Vases. Notebooks. Oh, that stuff on it. We can turn it around. Or at the other end. Two are jamming on each other. Not cool. Shelf's kind of nice. Maybe. Looks like a bicycle. Getting tossed. And yeah, that would end up in our local DeKalb County landfill. It's a magna. Magna. Just a little bike. Tires are almost pumped up. Now, as I'm driving down the road, this will be an advertisement as a scrapper. Definitely. That's one of my favorite trucks, like a future scrap truck. It's a GMC long bed. I don't know, what is that, a 98 or so, 2000, I don't know, 2002, <laughs> I really don't know, but the long bed and it's low, so you can, so I have to, turning out to be such a beautiful day, look how blue that sky is, hardly any wind, love it, now is this one of those poopy things? No, it's not. It's a shower curtain. Oh, I thought it was one of those rotor rooter things. So I'm driving. I'm like, did I almost run over something? Well, yes. And it's scrappable. Oh. That could be sides of my truck. Just tape it right here. That's all I can do. I've been looking into getting a ladder rack for this, but they don't make very many ladder racks that are this size that I don't have to like get shipped from Alabama or something. I just saw a refrigerator. Yes, I did. Cool, they took the doors off. That's the way to do it right there. you
Gonna have to do a little bit of repacking of the truck. truck to right here and load it up oh now it's rolling never mind we gotta move these refrigerators gotta move these color tv something like that How did that happen? <laughs> That's pretty good. It's mostly clear. Oh, I just jabbed my finger in my own knee. Ow! Clip that cord. Scrap back into here. Oops. breaking them. <clears throat> I just don't want to give my scrapyard a whole bunch of plastic, that's all. <clears throat> don't forget that stainless sink. it went flying <laughs> all right 
about out of here. the garbage man would be as loud as I am loading it up <clears throat> now I have a decision to make with that uh, refrigerator the refrigerators have Freon in them and I can take them to Dimco for, um, I can take them to Dimco, but they'll charge me to pull the Freon out. So basically I'll be given a refrigerator for free, or I, I wouldn't be making any money. Or I could take it to Zimmerman's over here, but I, I personally don't trust Zimmerman's because they change their prices and they just do strange things. Um, or I could drive it eight miles, seven miles over to um, the Sycamore scrapyard for 3.8 cents per pound. So, um, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off a lot of the scrap that's on the truck and just take the refrigerator over to Zimmerman's and see how much Zimmerman's, Zimmerman's is paying for appliance shredder scrap. Playing musical gloves. Yeah, these ones are more dry. I just have the defrost kind of going a little bit. Just to dry them out, plus they're in the sun. Such a beautiful day, wow. <laughs> okay, got me a total junk pile going on here. Oh. Looks like this thing got either ran over by a car, something. Definitely bent that up. All right, so I'm gonna take just the refrigerator portion over there to Zimmerman's. Let's do a little test run, see how they're doing. Who knows, maybe they're paying five cents a pound for for appliance. I doubt it, but who knows, maybe they've changed their ways and they're good guys now. All right, so I just took that stuff off and put it in my yard, you probably can see that. I'm gonna come back and most likely take it over to Dimco, DeKalb Iron and Metal. You can tell it's trash day in my neighborhood. So DeKalb Iron and Metal, they are the closest scrapyard to me. They are like the other side of the train tracks, just a little bit that way. And but Zimmerman's, they're pretty close as well. Yeah, and actually, I'm gonna show you how close they are just by driving there in real time to get my all right here's my guess my guess is that i'm going to get two dollars for this refrigerator yes and i am um, regardless of how much it weighs <laughs> because they, they they get a little they get a little fuzzy with their math There's that dumpster over there. That's an awesome dumpster. I keep forgetting to go over there. there uh, that dumpster over there is from a plumbing company. They are amazing. <laughs> that, I don't know, 20 videos ago or so, they were actually loading scrap into my truck as I pulled up. I'm like, you guys are awesome. And this is Zimmerman's here to the right. 
How much did I weigh going out last time? Oh no, I had stuff in the truck leaving. So never mind, it's not gonna be the same. Wow, they have sold a lot of scrap. That pile is not very big. Thirty nine hundred. This water right here? Thirty-seven forty. Yeah. So, what's that? One hundred sixty pounds. Yeah. Hey, this water. There you go, guy. All right. How much per pound now? Is that? How much per pound now? Fridges are sixty a ton. Sixty a ton. Okay. Yep. How much for regular scrap right now, for you guys? Like for your steel for that. Depends. So let's say I, I just scrap, so oh, it's between 60 and 100? Right, you had a fridge there, those 60. Right, right. So let's say, not talking about this, how, so if I brought in just a bunch of uh, shelving, it's all metal, painted shelving. Yeah, you gotta look at it. You might go ahead and find some more, like that, 70 a ton. Okay. Okay, all right, so you guys are uh, segregating your, your steel now. Good. All right, thank you. Yeah. All right, so there, so it looks like I got four bucks for 140 pounds. <laughs> I thought I saw 160. What do you guys, what'd you guys see? Yeah, I think it's 160. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything in here. Hmm. Looks like a piece of metal or two. Yep, yep, yep. Dumpster stick time. All right, dumpster stick. Go gadget two. Yeah. Whoa. Dumpster juice. Oh. Scrappage. I don't know why this is just. Uh, I'm squabbling over 80 cents or a dollar. But uh, so let's say 
four dollars divided by 140 all right so that equals um, 2.85 cents per pound so if I take that and I multiply it by 2,000 pounds to find out what the ton is so that's fifty seven dollars per net ton that he paid me for that fridge but I think it was 160 pounds because that's what I saw on the scale so if I take that four dollars divided by 160 and so I get two and a half cents a pound multiply that by two thousand and I get fifty dollars a net ton that's really what I believe I was paid for that and so he advertised sixty dollars a net ton so he even rounded down from the the wonky math here yeah and that's why I don't bring a lot of stuff over there because it just gets a little fuzzy okay I'm just loading up the scrap that's at my house right now I did want to say thanks to the folks that thanks for the subscribers I know that I don't talk about subscribers very much but don't go don't think it goes unnoticed I appreciate everyone that subscribes to this <laughs> this journey this funny little scrapping channel I don't know I think it's fun funny it's a, it's a journey it's enjoyable and uh, you know and seeing the likes go like six and seven and sometimes eight hundred likes on a video yeah don't think that goes unnoticed either it does it's, it's noticed so thank you for doing that I appreciate y'all's hmm yeah I'll put that under the barbecue that's not aluminum Another? Maybe not. Maybe not. Wait, is this stainless? No. Maybe it will this way. It does. Kind of hot up right there. I know this whole thing could go into shred, but if I can take it off, might as well. My dad always taught me when you're messing with a knife to have it go away from you. Sometimes it's not that convenient. Airplanes going out of the DeKalb Airport. Definitely. It's right there. Now, I think this stuff is aluminum. Wire. If you notice, it doesn't have that copper look to it. So that's aluminum wire. So I'm going to just put that right into the thread. Yep. Man, Jesse's got quite the basketball court going. And you know what else? He's really getting, getting into mowing the grass. Yeah. He's a good kid. Yeah, I am lucky to have good kids.
It's so peaceful out here. Wow. All right. I think we've got a scrap load. Definitely. And a tape measure found in the yard. Okay. Let's go on the other side. Is that those train tracks? Yep. I'm gonna guess 4,100. And almost 4,040 4, pounds. Okay. Hmm. A few things have shown up since I was here last. Maybe. I need to start where I, the last thing I put on. <laughs> Thirty-seven twenty, I see. So, three hundred and twenty pounds. Yeah. Got the green light. Let's go. Alright, so $12.80 for 320 pounds. Yeah. So I had $10 first thing this morning, then $4 for that refrigerator, and then 12, almost $13 for this. So, what is that? $14 plus $13. $27, like Yeah. Thanks, God. Thank you for this beautiful weather. It is such amazing weather. You were so good to us, God. 
God, just let us continue just to, to worship you and to look to you for the answers. Um, and God, help me with listening to that still and quiet voice that you have. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. And thank you for sending your son. That your son just makes it possible for me to talk to you. And that your son sent the Holy Spirit inside of me to, to finish teaching me all things. And the beautiful thing is that the Holy Spirit just points to Jesus. And Jesus just does what you want. And, and you send your son. And your son says, go to the Holy So it's just this beautiful upward spiral of just humility. It's just you're always referring to the other one that yeah i don't get it it's just awesome and that's the way i want to be i do thank you god